AJ, I want you to watch something real quick, and I want you to kind of take it in for what it is. You ready? Yep. Okay, ready? Ten, one, ten, two, two, ten, three, ten, four, ten, five, ten, six, ten, seven, ten, eight, ten, nine, ten, 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 eleven, ten, twelve, ten, thirteen, ten, fourteen. That's half the amount of flags that were thrown yesterday. Twenty-eight fucking flags thrown in that Cowboys Raiders games. They were going to the. They were, I'm a fucking, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, they were doing that 28 times. And while you're watching, you're like, hey, Ed, tell your son, Sean, that this ain't about him. Mm -hmm. Tell your son, Sean, that we get it. We get it. You can stop and go as you please and make a game as terrible as you want it. But I would like to also take a moment to maybe look at this from the other side of the table. Okay. For a hundred years, please put that graphic up. For one, oh no, no. 18 years. For the yeah. first time in 18 years, an NFL game had 14 plus penalties on one team, 14 plus penalties on the other team, and 100 penalty yards for both of them at least. It has been 18 long years. Ooh. There's been so many refs that have come and gone that have tried to attempt this feat. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't until yesterday that it was able to somehow pop onto TV in front of millions. And millions! In the second largest day of spectating football, that crew showed up and did the impossible. That crew showed up and did what no other crew has been able to do for almost two decades. That crew took over a game in a bad way and broke all the records. So to the refs, we'd like to say, congratulations! Yeah! You know what I mean? 18 years they've been trying to do that. <laughs> Long time. That's fucking. I think I know what you mean now. That, that was that would have like that's a that's a bit that you guys had to talk about before the show. Like, look at you. Like, that's a real show. Thank you. Well, <laughs> we thought it'd be too easy. Thought it'd be too easy to get mad at them, you know, and tell them that they fucking stink and uh -huh. this isn't about you, and then go after how none of them are full time, so they don't give a fuck. One of them might be sitting at a computer scientist chair. Yeah. Uh huh. Right now. But anybody could do that. Anybody could say that the ref thing is all flawed. That you should be able to review everything. Why don't they just go into their ear and say, bad call, change it? That'd be easy to do. Yeah, yeah. they do sometimes. Make the game better. Yeah, they do sometimes, but not like... I mean, that pass interference that lost the game yeah. for the Cowboys. In overtime. His head, what was he supposed to... Well, yeah, they do. I mean, whether you like the rule or not, there's no face guarding thing. That's not a thing, but you do have to turn your head. Yeah, but his head was getting... Held. Yeah, he, yeah. It was... Hey. Okay, that, that's what I was wondering. If there's a different crew on that game, would there be half the penalties, you think? Yeah, I don't know. And how many penalties were real and how many weren't and blah, 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 blah. It's just like... It certainly wasn't this many, but he did uh, Packers-Vikings last, last week, and there were a shitload of flags in that Remember, game, too. He also is a heel. He lo he's like one in eight now. Our home teams are now one in eight. Oh, the game. Yeah. yes. Oh. No home team won yesterday, by the way, for... Uh, Three years straight or something like that. Wow. Right? Why is it they have all their families sitting back at their house and taking up all their time before the game? No, I just – I don't know if Was that's our, it or if, like, playing on Thanksgiving is inconvenient for everybody, depending on if you traveled or not, you know? It's always in Detroit, too. That's a good that point. That's we a, lost to the Steelers bad at home on Thanksgiving. I mean, that was a bad – we lost bad. That throw, though. Pretty good. I'm making its rounds. Yesterday. Pretty good. Shout out oh, to the yeah. NFL, putting that back out mm -hmm. there. I appreciate that a lot. Mike McCarthy and Jerry Jones's reactions to the 28 penalty, 276 yards in penalty affair that was yesterday's Thanksgiving game are fantastic. Let's run through uh, Jerry Jones first, Evan Fox, and then we'll get to big Mike McCarthy chatting about the game that was in which they lost to the Raiders by a game-winning field goal. We actually shut out. 
game plan before the game and really thought that this crew has huge penalties. And we thought this would be a high penalty game. We thought this. And so we anticipated that. Uh, to their credit, uh, I think uh, they just did a real good job of getting their big plays and a bunch of more penalties. So, we, listen, Big Mike and I, we talked, and he fucking said, these guys throw a lot of flags. And we loved that that was going to happen. We were ready for it, but we did not anticipate being on the fucking wrong end of a couple <laughs> of big ones. He's basically what Jerry Jones just said. That is real, though. And if Big Mike and Jerry are talking every single week like it sounds like they are, and there's other teams, I guess, that this happens with the ownership, we just don't hear about it as much. The referees being scouted is a real thing, AJ. Now, the question is, where is – Sean Hockley's crew next week, how many flags does he throw and how much overkill are both teams going to have to like try to tell their team, listen, they call everything. We're not doing anything. We're playing two-hand touch, basically. There's full meetings happening this week, by, and not just this week, the next week and the week after that and the week after that about this Hockey League crew because they'll even give averages on the amount of flags. How about they call this more than anybody else? Some some uh, crews, like offensive holding on the offensive line, a lot of them. Like, hey, there's, an, uh, there's, a, a defense, there's a former defensive lineman that is refing on this crew that calls more offensive holding. So all the offensive linemen all week or like, hey, look out for it, look out for it. You don't find out until I think like Thursday or Friday or whatever the case. But I think Hockey League's crew, Sean's, all year have been heels. The stats say that the away team will benefit a lot more than the home team from Sean Hockey League. The home team coach, Big Mike McCarthy, who AJ knows a lot about, got asked about the game and why they lost to Rich Besaccia in the Raiders via a game-winning field goal. This is what Big Mike had to say. Uh, 28 penalties. I, I really, I mean, what, I don't know what the hell you want me to say. I mean, so right what you want, I'm all for it. <laughs> <laughs> right what you want, I'm all for it, man. I don't, what the fuck do you want from me? 28 penalties. We didn't even play football out there. <laughs> yeah. right, what, what do you even want? That's real, though. Coaches, you know, legacies get tarnished and fired and people lose jobs because of bad officiating. And I feel like we are one of the only programs uh, going that aren't scared to say it because we have no affiliation to the league or to any refs or anything. They stink. And they need to learn. We need to make them better, AJ. We need to make it better. If it's full-time, let's fucking go. If it's a better pipeline to make maybe former players get in there, because a lot of former players don't know what their identity is post-football either. If there was a way, like an academy, for them to go to and get certified and adding technology, there just has to be some sort of answer so we can stop talking about this every single day after games end, AJ. Well, you had, like for anything, you have to be held accountable for whatever you, you're doing. And they are, I guess. They're graded, and they say they go over the film, whatever. I guess what would be interesting to see, and they rate these crews, too, on how, like, who's top crews, who's not. Where is Hockley's crew rated? Like, does the NFL, do the, does the, the head of the refs, do they think that this crew is doing a good job? Remember, we, we fixed the regular world, right? Remember, we oh, uh, yeah. fixed politics oh. in the real world because we've been thrusted into it a couple times, whether it's – because of conversations we've had here or sports mixes with the real world or whatever. And the way to answer and beat this thing is we need a scoreboard, right? We just Boom. need a scoreboard so then we can see who did better and then we can trust accordingly. For instance, if the Detroit Lions of Congress come out and say something, <laughs> the rest of the world that doesn't pay close enough attention can at least go look up scores and say, oh, this is the fucking Detroit Lions. Mm -hmm. Their opinion means nothing. Like that in the real world is something that's needed. Now, who's going to decide what a score is? Who's going to run the scoreboard? They, You smarter people can figure that out. But I think that would, just like with the refs though, we should see the rankings that the NFL puts together. We should see the scores that are given. And then we could say, hey, this crew stinks. The NFL knows they stink. Let's act accordingly and maybe add more tech to help that particular crew. Or to maybe this really good crew. Okay, all the primetime games, we're going to put this crew on. And by the way, if you don't like it, other crews, fucking do better and you can become the primetime games that all the eyes are going to be on for our league, for our sport, people that aren't normally NFL fans that are gathered around with families on Thanksgiving watching alongside football fans. Watch that game yesterday and was like, who can watch this shit? There was numerous times 
where it was a flag on five straight plays, including yeah. like a special teams play, which is always so long and drawn out, let alone how that thing ended. False start, offsides, move back up. Now, the Cowboys did that. They, they jumped offsides, and the refs are going to have to call what they're going to have to call. But I think that was a perfect cherry on top of a game that was just a clusterfuck because of the officiating. And I think... You know, they broke a record, so congratulations yeah, to Sean. Yeah, Sean did something Ed could never do mm -hmm. in the last 18 years, which is 14 penalties on both teams. Hey, we're stunned but fair on everybody. Over uh, 300 yards in penalties. It's just, it's absurd. It's insane, AJ. I, I agree, and it's not, but it's not going to get any better. Isn't this every single week that it, we continue to see these things? And it's not getting better. It seems like as of now, it's, I don't know if there's more attention on it or what, but it's probably getting worse. 